hi there it's rose welcome back to the channel today we'll be discussing the laws of logarithm from our previous classes we're able to discuss the introduction to logarithm what logarithm is the types of logarithm and solved an example showing the relationship between indices and logarithm so now we want to show the rules what are those things we are supposed to know before we're able to solve um, questions in logarithm so now the first one is this rule which can also be called the product rule giving the log to the same base of numbers when there's an addition sign what do you do you pick the common log one of it and then you multiply together let's give an example so you'd understand it says when you have the same base you pick one of it and then you multiply because of the addition sign so now you have log 2 4 times 8 is 32 given the second rule which says when you have log to same basis with a subtraction sign what do you do you divide the variable given this is called the quotient rule yeah you know that whatever addition does subtraction would like to copy this you have the same basis and a subtraction sign so you pick one of it and then you divide it by two so this gives you log to base three a divided by two is this can also be called same base rule okay where you have the log to the base of a value same as this it will give you one for example you just know it's one because you have same numbers or same values given so for our fourth rule we have this condition that says the log to a value of one is zero now take note of these conditions this condition applies to the first and second condition your value or your the base value has to be greater than zero and not one please take note of this condition it has to be greater than zero and not one not equal to one that's what it means so if you see this you know from our indices anything raised to the power of zero is one right that's why when you have the log to a number to the base of a number of one it gives you zero let's give an example so we know that the log to base 8 of 1 gives 0 because 8 raised to the power of 0 definitely gives 1 this rule is trying to let us know that when you have the log to the base of any value the value has to be greater than 0 and not equal to 1 yeah so we have the next rule which is this one it says whenever you have the base to a value and a power what happens the power comes forward or will i say backwards and then you have this but please take note of this condition it applies everywhere the, the it applies in almost all the rules this base has to be greater than zero and not equal to one right and this cannot be zero okay if it's zero obviously you know this becomes one because anything with the power of zero is one given something like this right the power moves and then you have this Do you see then you can further simplify of course we know this one is 2 raised to the power of 2 right it still comes forward 3 times 2 6 and then we know there's another rule that says 6 times 1 6 we are already solving examples but that's fine so let's move to the next rule so given a case like this yeah we know that this is the same as x raised to the power of minus one right because of the inverse right so from one of the rules which is something we just concluded with we said the power goes forward and then you have this so this is the same as minus log ax so whenever you have something like this you know you can have this right so moving to the next law you can also have a case like this where you have one over then you change b becomes your base and a becomes this do you see for this case your power is on the base not here do you remember the other one where we had the power here for this case the power is on the base so what happens it becomes the inverse and then you write this 
do you see the difference from the other one the other one was here and we just took it to the back but for this case it's on the base so it becomes the inverse and the last rule we'll be treating today is this case where you have the log to a of b then you bring in a value make sure what you are doing for the numerator you're doing it for the denominator too that's the rule of math anyways you have to do what you do on top for the bottom so we're bringing in the value y for b and also the value y for a that's what one of the rules says so we're going to stop here we have numerous rules okay we have a lot of rules that you have to follow but with these basic rules you should be able to solve examples on log reading so let's solve some examples using our rules having learned the laws of log reading let's solve some examples yeah using or applying the rules when you have the log to the base of a value which is the same with this it becomes one that's all straightforward yeah then for this one you can do it two ways whichever way is okay is correct yeah we remember one rule that says you can make this become the inverse and then you do what you change this becomes four and this becomes three for somebody who is trying to really simplify will tell you log to base three remember that four can be written in index like this right and then there's a rule that says take this to the back and then you have this is that okay yeah so moving to the next one we have this which will give us zero why because there's one here seven raised to the power of zero is one right so log to the base of a value which has to be greater than zero and not equal to one of one would give zero i hope that made sense i hope you understood that okay now doing this one you remember when we said log to base three since this is the inverse it's same as um, 81 raised to the power of minus one right so here you have minus one goes forward and then you have log 3 to 81 now you can further simplify this by having minus log because minus 1 times log will still give you minus log 3 change 81 to its index form which is 3 raised to the power of 4 right and remember a rule that says you can still take your power to the back so 4 times minus is minus 4 log 3 3 right and then minus 4 times there's a rule that says when you have the same just as this becomes one so your answer is minus four times one minus four and that's your answer right so i'm going to give you an example and then you tell me your answer in the comment section below